Welcome to the Subaru SUV range walkthrough. Today I'm going to show you through three cars to show you which one might be right for you. We're going to be talking through the Outback, the Forester and the XV. All great cars, but what differentiates them and more importantly, how do those differences work for your lifestyle? You want a car that suits you? We're about to show you how to choose one. go from biggest to smallest. So let's start with the Outback. This should be a great car for families because it's got enough space for five people. Yes, you can comfortably fit three kids in the back seat. You can even fit three car seats in the back if you need to. And it's got a really large boot so you'll be able to fit in all the kids' stuff, a pram and groceries. And there's a load of other storage. Two cup holders in the front, two in the back, a spot for keys and a phone, plus a bottle holder in each door. There are four USB ports in this car, so nobody is gonna run out of charge. The Outback has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which just means that you're instantly connected to the main apps on your phone. So you can use Maps to navigate or Spotify to listen to music. Or if you don't want to use either of those two things, you can connect via Bluetooth to Subaru's multimedia system, which has a built-in sat-nav. I'm sitting in the Outback 2.5i Premium, which is actually a great sweet spot because it's in the middle of the range, but you'll still get leather seats, you get power operated front seats that are also heated, plus a bunch of advanced safety equipment across the whole range. So things like auto emergency braking, adaptive cruise control and rear cross traffic alerts. The Outback has all wheel drive, so you should be able to take it a fair way off road. It really helps with traction on dirt roads, gravel and even at the snow. It's also got a 2.5 litre petrol engine which promises good performance. Right, onto the Subaru Forester. It's also a great family car, a mid-size SUV, a little bit smaller than the Outback, the kind of car you buy when you're pregnant or maybe you're about to have a second child and you realise you need to upsize into an SUV. What I love about the Forester is that it feels just as solid as the Outback, but it's a little bit smaller and I'm always partial to downsizing, except when it comes to boot space. Give me all the boot space. The Forester doesn't disappoint. 498 litres means it will fit a pram, groceries, school bags. It's plenty for a young family. Inside, there is lots of room. Whether you're 100 centimetres or 200 centimetres, you will find enough leg and head space in the Forester. There are also two cup holders in the front, two in the back, a bottle holder in each door, and I'm always happy to find a spot for my phone in the front too. I'm in the Forester 2.5 IS, which is the top of the range. You can get an entry-level Forester though, which is a bit more affordable if you choose to do that. With the 2.5 IS, you will get leather seats, a panoramic sunroof, power operated front seats, eight speakers and a subwoofer, tinted windows, amongst other things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which actually comes standard on all Foresters. The Forester gets the same 2.5 litre petrol engine as the Outback with a bit more tech and extra power. It also only comes in all wheel drive, so you get that traction on the road, which should inspire confidence on all surfaces. Plus, it has your advanced safety covered. Auto emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and my favorite, rear cross traffic alerts. Plus, a bunch of other things that actually make me feel really safe when driving my family around. And here we have the Subaru XV. It's the smallest SUV of the bunch and is described by some as the SUV version of the Impreza. Now, this is a good looking car. Sporty and sleek, it just looks like a lot of fun to drive. The XV has a smaller two litre engine, but still gets all wheel drive. This is a car for people who want a little bit more than a hatchback, but don't want to upsize completely to a larger SUV. You will still fit five people easily in this car. There's enough leg and headroom in the front and in the back, you will fit three people as long as they're happy to sit close together. The boot is smaller than the Outback or Forester's. 310 litres means it will be tight fitting a pram in here, but maybe you're out of pram stage and you want to get some lightness and fun back into your life. This is the car to do that. I'm in the top of the range XV 2.0 IS and in that you will find a leather steering wheel, leather seats, 
power operated front seats and a nicely designed centre console. Like its sister cars, front and rear passengers will get cup holders, a centre storage bin and bottle holders in the doors. You'll also find Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and my favourite bit about that technology is using voice control to make calls and send texts. And safety is, as you can see with Subaru, right up there. You'll get all the good stuff. Auto emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, lane departure alerts and rear cross traffic alerts. there you have it. Subaru's SUV range really is comprehensive. I hope you got all the information you need to make a great next car decision and you find the one that suits your lifestyle the most. <laughs>